Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Minnesota Twins. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Singing, we're going to see a lengthy win streak put to the test. Over the course of a full season, Boog, there are few stretches where a team is clicking offensively, defensively, starting pitching, and bullpen. Right now, this is one of those stretches for this club. Yeah, got the W last time out. Six innings, a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. All right, ready to get underway. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. All in one now. And that one is lifted in the air. Hunter racing over to make the catch. Got a second. The second baseman, Nikki. Lopez. Nikki Lopez up to the play. In there, and it's 0-1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. Here goes the runner. In the air out to center. Gordon under it. Two down. Man at first. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. And that's in there for strike one. And a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. So one left. Bottom of the first. Here's the center field. Leading up. For the twin. The center field. And here it comes. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Next to hit, Rod Carew. Hard ground ball, base knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Next to hit, Paul Molitor. Two for ten in the series. Double steal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Base hit. One run in already. Now two runs score, and they lead by two. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And next for Minnesota, Torrey Hunter. Good contact guy, good defender. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. That's what the fans came to see. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they tack on three. It's five zip. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Merrifield pulls it down. One down. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Davis. 
Next is the designated hitter, David Ortiz. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add a run. It's six nothing. Amir Garrett into the game. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. One out, base is empty. And here's the veteran outfielder, Justin Morneau. And what a two-way player, not just offensively, but as good a defensive outfielder as there is in the game. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. And that extends his hitting streak yet again. This is starting to get pretty interesting, Singy. Yeah, and the way he's going, it seems like there's no end in sight. This is a guy that no pitcher wants to face right now, especially with runners on base. I mean, he's doing all the little things right, and it just seems like he's in cruise control at the plate. Pulls that one foul. Clearly, he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. And a base hit up the middle. Mondo around third. He scores. It's seven to nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So the batting order turns over, and stepping in is the speedy Nick Gordon. That one laced to center and a base hit. Play it third in there, and it's second and third, one away. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot, and a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. And now, Rod Carew. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 9-0. A two-run double. Man at second with one away. Now the third baseman, Paul Molitor. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. There's a line drive to left field. Dives and he can't hang on. And that's a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So now it's the four hole hitter, Harmon Killebrew. And he's already singled in this game. Center field. Taylor drifts towards it. Makes the catch. Both runners tagging from second and third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's 10-0. Man, there's a sack fly to bring home another run in this You're inning. These guys are just piling it on. We're seeing some really quality at-bats out of this team right now. Domingo Tapia on the pitch here. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Hunter now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw sails over his head at first. 
That one really hurts. You're already down in the game, and that error puts you even further behind. Just can't let it compound from here, though. You've got to flush it, get ready for the next one, make a play, get back in the dugout. Runner at second now after the error. Here's a speed threat, Joe, Joe Mauer. Slap the other way, foul. And a pinch. Hard hit to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Now a long throw home. In there. He scores. It's 12 0. Picks himself up at RBI. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. And now for the Twins, David Ortiz. He's already homered in this game. The designated hitter, David Ortiz. Bounced up the middle into the outfield. Base hit. And the throws offline, safe at third. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. So up next, Justin Mordeaux doubled his first time up. That one fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. Out to short. Base hit. One run is in. Not in time. He's safe. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time. Good, balanced approach. And just blasted it through the infield. Here's Royce Lewis. Now batting, shortstop, Royce Lewis. Hit hard, that gets through. Taylor throws to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Second inning set to go. So up now for Kansas City, Carlos Santana. First and first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Okay. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes... As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And he takes it himself for the out. Andrew Benintendi steps up. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. There's the strike. The 0-2. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Royals go down 1-2-3, but this one's pretty much over. 14 to nothing. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Nick Gordon. The wind of the pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Benintendi makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The batter. So up next for Minnesota, Rod Carew. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And there's two away. Now batting. The third baseman. So digging in, Paul Molitor. Molitor. Oh, 
on the ground to the left. Fires over to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And to the plate for Kansas City, Michael A. Taylor. The center fielder, number The pitch. Michael A. Taylor. That's in there. That's strike one. Swing and a miss. Next offering is foul back. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. That one's in there 0 and 1. Late with the swing there. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Yeah, the batter now, Whit Merrifield. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's in there. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake butt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. KC down in order. But this one's pretty much over. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Harmon Killebrew. The first baseman, Harmon. Well struck, right field. Didn't quite have enough. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Torrey Hunter, the next twin up to hit. One for two. In the air, out towards right center. Racing makes the catch. Out number two. Now batting. The catcher. Joe. Two outs, base is empty. Joe Mauer, the next twin up to hit. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh one. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. Going two now. That one lifted to left. Benintendi is there. Makes the catch inning over. Down go the Twins in order. But they're still on cruise control. 14-0. Start of the fourth. Now the number two hitter, Nicky Lopez. And first offering is fouled off. Lopez. The wind and the pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all hey. game long. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Grabs it on the run, and there's one down. The catcher, number 13. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals, leading the American League in homers coming into this one, having a monster season. Next offering is foul back. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. That's out number two. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. 
Digging in, Hunter Dozier. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And down on strikes, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Royals, but this one. Bottom four, now it's the DH, David Ortiz. For the swing, the designated hitter, David. Tapia back to work. Hard on the ground to first. Slides, but it gets by him. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got now to live on the outer edges. Field. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Justin Morneau, the next twin up to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Ortiz on at first, nobody out. And a foul ball left side. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The pitch. On the ground, could be two. And that one handled. Throws to first, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Now batting, not shortstop, Royce Lewis. Royce Lewis, the next twin up to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Ortiz coming home. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And the lead continues to grow. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly... He sought out of the pitcher's hand, no problem. A new arm into the game, the righty, Joel Piamps. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now he breaks his bat. Not in time, he legs it out. So two down, and next for Minnesota, Paul Molitor. And fouled off. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders, now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. The 1-2. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back at target field, new inning getting started. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That clips the zone, 0-1. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Gets under and pops it up. And that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Oops, throw goes to third. And that's a leadoff double. So, a man aboard, Adelberto Mundesi up to the plate. 0 for 1, he grounded out to first his last time. Foul ball. 
the pitch out towards left center Gordon moving under this one and puts the squeeze on that one and there's one down here's the left fielder Andrew Benintendi and Boog I'd say he's due man at second swing and a miss no balls two strikes and that's outside runner leads away at second rolled softly but that goes foul here comes a pitch stays alive that's towards center Gordon settles underneath it two down And next up for the Royals, Michael A. Taylor. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Next offering is in for a strike. Santana stands at second with two gone. Got him. And that'll do it. Royals leave one. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. Back in Minnesota, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's Liga. set to get us started. Bottom five. Harmon Killebrew. On the ground, right side. Lopez tosses to first. One up, one down. Tory Hunter, the next twin up to hit. One for three. Line drive, base hit right center field. Now, batting. now Joe Mauer. This guy has turned into a beast. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. To short, could be two. Over to Lopez, one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. We're through five. Minnesota. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. 0-1. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Swings and misses. One gone here. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And though not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Up the middle and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And a pitch. This to center field. Gordon makes his way towards it. Long run, tracks it down. And there's two down. The catcher, number 13. Man at first. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Banks off the wall. In to score from first, and it's 15 to 1. Hunter Dozier getting ready to hit. 
And yeah, first off ring is fouled off. And the strategy of winning a ball game when you could make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So they pick up a run on. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the power speed combo. David Ortiz. Pines back to work. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot. And now here is Justin Mordeaux. And a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Popped up. Mondesi makes the play. And there's one down. Now batting. Not shortstop. Royce Lewis. And here is Royce Lewis. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Pickoff throw. Ortiz back easily. That smash towards center. Squeezes it. Two down. Up next to the twin. The center fielder. Nick Gordon. The next twin up to hit. He swings and fouls one off. Ortiz. Off of first with two away. Left-hand batter waits. The other way. He dives, but he can't make the catch. That leaves him without a throw, and he reaches safely. Great recovery in this one. Early in the count, he looked lost, but finished strong with a nice line drive. Rod Carew, the next twin up to hit. He's going, he's going, he's going. It's a double steal. Strike in there. Throw to third. Too late. Save. Double steal. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball popped up. Lopez makes the catch, and that'll do. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Joe Nathan. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Santana stands in now and watches strike one. Next one is off the play, and that is ball one. And that one wrapped foul. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. And the batter will be the shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Twins, Paul Molitor. 
third baseman. The pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Mondesi fires over to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The first baseman, number three. Harmon Killebrew digs in now. Smash to the left side. It's in and out of his glove. And save. He busted it down the line for that infield single. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. Tory Hunter, the next twin up to hit. Swings here and blasts one left field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A two-run homer, and they add a pair. It's 17-1. to one. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Still only one out here in the inning. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. David Ortiz now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. That's out to center field. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Met at first, Justin Mordo, the next twin up to hit. That one ripped. Lays out and makes the play. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up. Back at target field, ready to begin the eighth. And to the plate for Kansas City, Michael A. Taylor. And that one fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. First out in the top of the eighth. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. On the ground, out to short. Lewis throws to first. And Witt is out. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Witt Merrifield. In there for strike one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the third out. New pitcher on here, Taylor Clark. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, the tag, and they cut him down, going for two. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. So up next for Minnesota, Nick Gordon. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. He's got it, and there's two away. Now back, second base. Two outs, base is empty. Rod Carew will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. This one smoked out to left. And that's the third out. 
Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. Pitches in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And the right hander deals. Pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. And there's a ball. Righty to the plate. That one hit to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And now just two yep. outs okay. away. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Left field, way back there. Makes the catch crashing into the wall. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Slice to right, and that'll wrap it up. The Twins take the first three games of this four-game set. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. So this one got a little...